Okay, I'm continuing Pokemon Red now. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying. Uh, I've done all I need to do in blue, so... I now have to set up for trades. This Pokemon League thing... Duh, I have to train. This team is not doing well in this game. So... Um, I need to catch some fodder. I need to go get great balls, actually, because I don't have any, right? Yeah, okay. First things first. Yeah, I think Halloween, Halloween costumes like that are funny. Like, I knew someone who dressed up as, uh, Kevin from The Office. She was... She was really meticulous with that costume. <laughs> it was funny. It's that episode where the dude has, like, the bowl of chi the, the chili and just spills it on the floor. She didn't spill the chili on the floor, but that was, that was the outfit. It was like, I brought chili! Okay. Halloween's coming up. It is. Just haven't done anything for Halloween in years. If I ever do Halloween again, I think I'll definitely do the Wario outfit. I just... I was always lazy with it. I just... Because I have, like, a mariachi hat and a poncho. I would just wear it and just call it a day. <laughs> I mean, it works, it's just it's extremely lazy on my part. Why Wario? Because I do the Wario voice. When I would play Mario Party or Mario Kart, I would pick Wario, and I would just distract people by doing the voice. Like, if I ever took someone, I'd be like, oh, yes! Not a perfect impression. It's like Charles Martinet is more nasally, but I got the idea down. <laughs> but I would always say just. Just stupid shit as warrior. Okay, get ready to move your fingers. Yes, you got to spin. <laughs> My favorite one, even though it doesn't sound like him. You're like, okay, it's time to fuck! Yes! I do that when the minigame would start. Alright, that's one. I just need to catch. He sounds very Italian. I mean, he is. At a certain point, they wanted him to be German, but then they changed that. It's just Italian.
I mean, there's, there's a reason, like, why I have this emoji. I have Wario shaking his fat booty. It's one of my channel emotes. Oh, why did I faint it? Alright, it doesn't matter. Oh, yes! Look at it! Move from left to right. Left, right. Left, right. Yes! <laughs> See what I mean? Like, just imagine you're playing Mario Kart or Mario Party and someone's just doing that. Didn't notice how fat he was. He's not fat, he is... He is just sturdy. Very well built. Please, just, just, I need you as fodder. Oh, this is annoying. Thank you. Okay, that's two. bad the sprite looks. But anyway, that's why I would dress up as Wario. I could fully get into character. I mean, I'm not short like Wario, so that's the only thing. Like, if anything, I could probably do a good Waluigi. It's just, Waluigi's voice is more high-pitched. High yes! Oh, yes! But I can't keep it up for long. <laughs> Sounds bad. Okay. Okay, I'd, I'd have to practice it. Warrior, I can I can keep the tone more or less like my my own voice. Luigi. Tuck yourself in to bed. It's like, no shit, it's 10 o'clock, but still. I don't start unwinding for like at least another hour. Game, please, I just. Need fodder. This is number four. I need two more after this. out of Great Ball. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
curious, can I just... Like, surely I can just... Hang on. Yeah. I'm curious if I can just throw a ball here and be done with it, let's see. This may have been the easier path. I just was worried it might not catch it, but... I feel like it's not strict, let's see. Okay, I should have done this instead. Okay, one more. Time I should prepare the Game Boy. <laughs> Are you kidding? Ah, it didn't work. This is what I was worried about. All right, surely an Ultra Ball will work first try. I'm gonna be a little salty if it doesn't. Wow. Sorry, I'm like... Trying to get the link cable. There it is. Okay. I kind of don't have a choice here. Dude. What, what is this? Really? Really? Most expensive Nidoran catch ever. GAME! <laughs> Holy shit. Unbelievable. Alright. Now I just gotta set up for the trade. Okay. Everything goes away except the ones that I'm trading. Slash. This will take a little time. But, Pokedex is getting closer to being finished. Next. 
I can't believe I got this pretty quickly. <laughs> just can't get over its face. It just looks like a skeptical bug. Magmar. Still looks so weird. This looks tiny. Crazy how much back and forth this requires. This is what made this game super social. I could get this, but it's probably gonna take a while in this, so we could do this easy. Save me some time. Right from well, in this set, this is the important one, <laughs> saves me the hassle. Huh. 
That's it, right? Okay. Okay, a curiosity I have. Just a sec. Reset. Give me a sec. Maybe this color palette thing can be fixed. Um, quick, hold on, quick game. Pocket systems, GB. How do you do it? It's like, hang on. GB hardware. Force GBC mode. I think this is how you get it to do the color thing. I might be right. This might look more authentic, which... Admittedly... I probably should have done this sooner. No, it just, it just doesn't look any different. Alright, whatever, I tried. Um... Okay, so just a sec. I need to do the spotter thing again. Except one thing. I need to do I need to duplicate Armonite. Okay. Just a sec. I need to withdraw certain Pokemon in blue. Uh, so... This should only take a sec. Get out Vulpix. Get out... Kabuto. I think that's it. Okay. So I just need to catch a few fodder Pokemon. Back, welcome back, Mr. Sam. I imagine bed tucking in. I'm just about finished up with my trading. You didn't fall asleep. I mean, even if you did, it doesn't matter. People do that all the time. They seem to have that effect. Not that I'm boring, <laughs> but more. I've been told that my voice helps with sleep at times. Be a dick. I just need to catch you, please. I can't remember how much fodder Pokemon I'm gonna need. I think just two. So, hold on. Yeah, I need one for Omanyte and one for Kabuto. Mm -hmm. 
This is just thinking ahead in, in case I want to do gold and silver at some point. And then I have these just lying in wait. Okay, and then I guess I have to do the same in blue. Wait, do I? Yeah, because I need something to trade. Okay. I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is ready. I just need to go get a fodder Pokemon. I already got fodder Pokemon. This is fine. We're fine. Alright, the ones that I caught were fodder. So what am I doing? Okay, Kabuto. Wait. It goes, do the fodder for the non-fodder. I'm gonna do the duplication glitch thing. I might get it wrong the first time. too early. Fucked it up. I always get it the wrong the first time. <sighs> Alright, one sec. Let's sleep in Spanish. Dormir. It's okay. Damn, I'm up to 114. I mean, we're almost there. I used to be able to get this right every time as a kid. the screen very carefully. I need to do it precisely. Got it. Alright, there it is. Did it correctly. Okay, so this should have should have saved and now it should have cloned it across. I just needed a warm up, that's it. It is tedious having to reset, but it's fine. It beats having to play through the game again. Just to get that thing.
Hey, there it is. Okay, excellent. Okay, now I need to duplicate the Ammonite. So that'll involve one legit trade. Trade Ammonite for Kabuto. And then I tried back and duplicated across. I suppose I am resorting to glitches technically, but eh. <laughs> it's not the most egregious thing I could do. to catch one more fodder Pokemon, but I can do that. And then, I think that's it. I don't need to try it anymore. The rest is just all red. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure. What now is I repeat it again because I fucked up. It's like, it's a very specific timing thing. You need to count to two and then turn the Game Boy off. But I probably didn't count to two correctly. Two seconds, like I know how to count to two. It's more count to two seconds. It has to be roughly two seconds. It interrupts one. So then the other finishes the trade. Play Animal Crossing? Not gonna happen. Not today. I don't feel like it. Plus it's ten o'clock. I'd have to wind the clock back. The store isn't open anymore. Like I wanna I wanna make progress on this. Okay, I caught my fodder Nidoran. Because I don't feel like it. It's straightforward enough of a reason. Okay, 
Focused. I just have to do this duplication thing. This is the last time I need to duplicate anything. I think. Pretty sure. The final trade is just trade the one that I didn't clone back. <laughs> I think I got it. This is another one of these things that I'm not sure how I found out about this. As a kid, but it's just something that everyone knew about somehow. Without the help of the internet. Chop a lump. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, this is it. This, I don't need to trade anymore. Pretty certain. Found out from the Chubble Arm kids. I don't know. I, I mean, I was in that group that said it. It's one of those things that I just have zero memory of how I learnt that stuff. I mean, come on, surely there was something dumb that you remember doing. But you don't have any memory why or how it started. Okay, but this is now done. So I can unplug the Game Boy and turn off this here. Kabuto, Kabuto, Omina, Omina. Excellent. Alright. Okay, no problem. to catch slow bro <laughs> let you think about dumb moments of your life it's probably not something you should do so late at night it's like one of those rabbit hole things
Okay, um... I need to go catch a Slowbro now. But I guess for that, I'm gonna need great... Great balls again. Which I guess... Oh, this is so annoying. Really don't remember, remember. I probably don't have something that stands out. Or it's like suppressed. Where is Beedrill? I need to go buy an Abra. I really cannot be bothered catching one. It's okay, I don't need many. Abra is like really inexpensive. There's a boy in year three who would pull your hair. Oh, damn. Wait, why is that bro? What, what the f- what? Porygon in blue is cheaper? Oh my god, I could've just gotten Scyther this way. Okay. Huh. Why are things more expensive in blue? I mean, the old pulling hair thing, that's... That's a pretty common one. And one day the whole class was making fun of you because of some secret and no one would tell you. Yeah, that's pretty shitty. That's just kids being assholes. It was probably nothing. Like, it's just kids being assholes. It was most likely nothing. So they were telling the secret was wait, tell you the secret and then the boy told you he liked you. Oh. So it was something. I was gonna say, like, that sort of thing, that's kinda why. It's fucking weird, but it, it's true. Like sometimes extreme amounts of negative attention mean the opposite for some reason. In your mind, you remember, you're like, oh, that's what you cried for, so you pushed them over and told them to stop pulling your hair. Well, good. Okay, that's that done. That's a solid case in child psychology. I mean, you're digging deep into the memories of that sort of stuff. Tell me how that's made you feel! No, don't. It's fine. Okay, now I need to catch Slowbro.
I feel like both of these evolve at 31. But I might be wrong. Okay. Time to go catch Slowbro. In fact, I probably should have. Hold on. Feel like what? Or did I not finish a thought? I may have been talking about the game. Most likely talking about the game. Don't worry. It's not. It's not a. I'm not trying to dissect like you getting your hair pulled. <laughs> The music is more audible than me. What? <sighs> that shouldn't be the case. My mic is probably far away. Hold on. Or I'm mumbling. Maybe I was just thinking to myself and mumbling. It's probably that. I was mumbling. <laughs> it's alright. I was thinking to myself just what I need to do. Pulling boy hooked up when you were 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, pulling boy. At least it's a story. <laughs> Don't know what to call him, I, I guess. I mean, if you use the dude's real name, it wouldn't really change anything, really. You could come up with a pseudonym. Call him Max. Alright, Max. Max Hairpool. Got it. Max, you don't like people touching your hair. But as a child, or just now in general, like, it's, it's a no-no. Always? Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Give me Slobro! I need a Slobro. Isn't that weird? No? Why? Why would it be weird? What about affectionately? Like, let's say... You're lying down on a couch with someone, and they affectionately, like, stroke your hair. Would you be like, no, stop it, hate it, stop, what are you doing? The fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> no, then, yeah, it's not weird. What we're talking about is, like, situations where you have to go, wait, why the fuck are you touching my hair? Which, perfectly fair enough. You don't like it. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is why we don't dig too deep into memories, because it's like you can make a connection of just childhood. You know, that whole situation might have led to the whole I don't like people touching my hair thing. Okay. That's lick a tongue. I don't think it's weird anyway. Like, at the end of the day, we're human. We have... We have our things that we like. We have our things that we dislike. And we also have idiosyncrasies that come from, like, a place of... I wouldn't call it being irrational, but more... Like, you can't help it, you know? It's just... It's who you are. Everyone has something like that. So, for me to say it'd be weird... I'd be, like, overlooking some of the shit that I do. Or, like, you know... Don't like. Who am I to judge? That would have been funny if it would have been named Max. <laughs> but it's Mark. despise. I mean, I wouldn't say despise, but something I definitely feel really uncomfortable about. It's just the concept of small talk. Or I guess being pleasant for the sake of being pleasant, you know? I don't know. Oh wait, it was in that box. Okay, it's fine. What are we up to? 117. Getting there. Um... Now let me look up... Kabuto Red evolves at... It evolves that little floaty. Yeah. 
okay, it's small talk to either talk about something and deep dive into it or shut the fuck up. I just think, you know, you should be perfectly fine with being in a room with someone and not having to say anything. Like, I like getting comfortable with someone to the point where we feel like we don't have to talk if we've got nothing to say. Or like, just, I don't know. Like, just small talk leading to people... <sighs> I'm gonna sound like an asshole, but like, it comes from a place where... I have my friends, and the friends I have... It's people that I trust wholeheartedly. And it's not something that's just, you know, it doesn't feel artificial. Anyone else, I guess I call them an acquaintance, more or less. But like, I've, I've had people in my life where, you know, because of small talk, they get familiar and then they want stuff and then they don't reciprocate. And so that's led to me being the way I am. Like, it's interpreted as cold to some, but I just would rather... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. It's like ten, almost 11 o'clock at night. I'm probably just gonna fuck up what I'm trying to mean, but... Yeah. It's, it's that. Okay, so these things need to grow 10 levels to evolve, which... Ugh. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I need to grind levels with certain Pokemon anyway. Ten levels is a lot. Let me go through the decks. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venus. Okay, so I need the starters. I didn't trade for Vulpix? Fuck. Okay. I gotta trade for Vulpix. I thought I was done with trading. I am not. Um, there's one I forgot. Uh, I'm just seeing if anything's out of line. That's fine. This will happen on its own, I guess. I feel like the best way to pull this off is probably just Elite Four grinding. I haven't caught Magmite, but I will eventually. What is 86? It's Jinx. What do you trade for Jinx? That's what I'm missing. I think it's Raichu for Jinx. And then the dragon... Mewtwo. Okay. 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 It's not too bad. You have two pet peeves making small talk while getting your head done. That's like waterboarding. Yeah, that's just, that just comes from a place of not liking small talk. I mean, I can, I can do it, but it's just... At a certain point... It just... It feels... It just feels awkward to me. I don't know. I think what I should do is train my Elite Four team at this point. Like, I'm gonna forget about the grind. But what I will do... Give me a sec. Had something I wanted to send to blue. But I'll, I'll just catch fodder, that's fine. I 
I think eradicate might be the one. Hang on. Yeah, there it is. Eradicate. Okay. Eradicate for Vulpix. I thought I was done, but I missed one. Kind of warm. I was like, feels pretty warm. It's kind of warm for it being. It's 15, but it's still pretty warm. I tell you, I'm kind of afraid what December's gonna bring. Eradicate. I can't believe I didn't do this. Alright. I guess I'm gonna have to open the door. Even though it might, like, add a little echo to the sound, but I gotta do it. It's getting a little warm. This is what happens when you're in a room just full of computer stuff. It heats up. It's good in winter, in summer it sucks. Ah, that's better. Cozy and warm. In winter it is. In summer, it's just, it just sucks. <laughs> okay. I don't have to do anything fancy, this is just... Okay. That's it. <laughs> I'm pretty sad, and I, I read through the decks. I mean, I guess the best course of action here is just to train the team I'm gonna use. Hot weather might be back this week, you hope? I mean, here it's like mid-twenties. It did not get anywhere close to how it did in New South Wales. Like, it was really nice. Me nine tails. I haven't read some of the new ones. Very smart and very vengeful. Grabbing one of its many tails could result in a 1,000 year curse. Someone that doesn't like its hair being pulled. At the time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip as it grows older. Alright, I did read that one before. Its tongue can be extended like a chameleon's. It leaves a tingling sensation when it licks enemies. If interrupted while it is miming, 
It will slap around the offender with its broad hands. I think I read this before. Yeah, we already read Magma and... I don't think I read Pinsa. Oh no, it did. It throws around the thing. Okay. Beast, I have not read. Although, long extincts in rare cases, it can be genetically resurrected. Oh yeah, no, I did. A Pokemon that was resurrected from a fossil found in the... that was once in the ocean floor eons ago. Alright. So... I need to... I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I don't want to resort to missing, though. But at the same time, that's a lot. Okay, I think the priority is getting the team to a good spot, so... There's other places I can go on the map. Like, I can go to the power plant and Seafoam Island, so there's still areas I can visit. Uh, Alakazam. And we want... We need strength. What's my team right now? Yep, okay. going here first. Sea Firm Islands first. There's, there's less I need to prepare for. Uh, who's gonna get the training priority? Probably Alakazam. I have a neighbor that, uh, they must have moved in because this never happened until I'd say the last couple of weeks. But for some reason they play, I don't know if it's new age music or like meditation music, but we're talking 11 o'clock at night, midnight, they're playing that music loudly and I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> like I get, I get, it's not the music I'm questioning, it's the fact that they're playing it loudly. You know? Like, if you're gonna relax with that music, you would think you'd have headphones on. And not make it like it's a- it's a Saturday night. And you're partying with it. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Like, how does- how does that bring Zen? Honestly, if it wasn't so late at night, I would try to figure out where it's coming from, just to see who's doing it. But just bizarre. If only, if only it was loud enough, I'd be able to just tell my phone to tell me what song it is, and then I'd be able to play it. Well, maybe not necessarily play it, but link it. <laughs> but I can only describe it, it just seems like it's meditation music, I don't know. I don't know how else to put it.
Yeah, maximum zen. <laughs> Gotta crank up the volume. That is very weird, right? Again, it's, it's not so much the mu it's not so much the genre of music. It's fine. Whatever music you listen to and you enjoy, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. It's more the fact that I would not associate with music that you just blast through a speaker system. At 11 o'clock at night. Finally Charizard had a flamethrower. Experience all. I need to know what I'm getting in this cave as well, so let's just see. Uh, we need. Seafoam Island. Okay, so there's Golduck, which is a 1%. Seal, okay, I can catch Seal. There's Dugong as well, so that's good. Those two will be caught. Um, Golbat. And then Articuno is like somewhere. Alright, so there's a few up for grabs. Not many, but enough to warrant me going there. Plus experience, I need levels. <laughs> I, can, I can only, I can only imagine someone playing this in their car. Just extremely loudly. I could play the music really loud, the Pokemon music. Nah, I don't want to be a dick. Like, oh, uh, because you know that's that's the uh, that's a carpet bomb. It's like sure, I might annoy the person that's playing the Zen music, but I also annoy a bunch of other people that have got nothing to do with this. And then I'm an asshole too. I, d I don't do that stuff. No one wins in that scenario. I'm gonna say this is the better place to train, we'll see. Reflect. No.
Okay, well these things will go down quickly. I guess the thing is because it's just relaxing music. It's not that it bothers me. It's more that I, it's just, it's weird. my Pokemon to be strong. Maybe I can get away with having three carries? I don't know. I mean, Alakazam is definitely capable of that. I would just need an answer to psychic type okay well this whole thing is a headache so I will probably be in here for half an hour I didn't bring anything that has sleep status fuck Do we have any kind of status affliction Poison's too risky. Mm. I didn't think that wasn't her. All oh, right. Oh, this thing. I forgot. <laughs> this whole thing is a maze. I need to block the current. That's that's the puzzle. Have I not run into a Pokemon? There we go. I already got you. With that being said, I should fight. So... Hmm. 
nice. The protruding horn on its head is very hard. It is used for bashing through thick ice. Okay, that should be both of them. There we go. not very long from memory. Yeah. Here is Articuno. Save it just in case I brick it. <laughs> Seafoam basement floor. So on this floor I can catch Golbats 1%. Slippery. Okay, this is not a good floor to catch stuff on. But I recovered in anticipation of the fight. So different. this up. Oh my god, it crit. Okay, hang on. Um... This might be a bad choice, but let me just... Fuck, it used Ice Beam, you dick. It's gonna murder it. I was going to use agility um, and reduce its accuracy. Mm. Just hopefully it doesn't kill it. Okay, good. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I need something that inflicts status on it. Oh shit, because Charizard's flying. This is annoying. So is it just going to always miss unless I status afflict it? Oh my 
my god. Hang in there. I might need to get Gengar out. Another super effect. Fuck. I don't think I'm gonna succeed here. If it needed to be status afflicted, then that's my bad. Because flying type. Yeah, it's just gonna miss. I don't remember it having to be status afflicted. Alright, I don't think I'll be able to do this. I'll try. It just keeps missing. Thankfully this isn't a hard puzzle to solve. That's not gonna work. It's so annoying. Hold on. Probably the best bet I have is uh, Gengar and Hypnosis. Because then Peck won't work. annoying, but I guess it is what it is. Shows that I'm clearly not strong enough for the Elite Four. <laughs> it's just... Already, that... Ice is going to fuck me up. out of the cave. I mean, I can have a way to Articuno, but how do I get out of the cave?
this looks more or less correct. Hopefully. I just want out. deeper into this cave. I'm not on my way out, am I? Oh no, here we go. Really? Take it out. Oh, this is the other side. That's news. Okay. So who do I swap out then? I guess... Everything is weak to ice. I guess Nita Queen since last level. Um There's no way that There's no way that Valplume survives either way. It's like Peck or Ice Beam, it's gonna die. This is... Ugh, it's like such wishful thinking, it's not funny. I mean, okay, if it uses Peck, it's not gonna affect it. So there's a, there's a bit of RNG involved, but it's the best I can do now. It doesn't know hypnosis. Let's see if there's a TM. Hypnosis TM. Yeah, 
generation one to three. It's not. Hmm. Well, this is, uh... How am I gonna do this, then? The only other thing I know that has hypnosis is... is another grass type. Might be ill prepared for this. Poison would work, but it's, it's risky. This might work. Do you have glare? You have glare, right. That's status. It's level 40, it should be able to eat a hit. Alright, that's the plan. Improvising here. This works. I may have to look at catching something with hypnosis. Moltres not a pain in the ass. for the battle. Unless it's something that I want to catch. Hmm. 
game, please. Just... Wow. I thought it undid the puzzle. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Alright, well. I'm hoping Paralyze will be enough, but we'll see. I might have to come back for this oh, once I catch something with hypnosis. It's oh, it's oh, wow, fuck me. Okay, sacrificial lamb. Can't believe I got a crit. I think I can do anything against it here. I mean, maybe a slash just to lower it, but stop. Okay, good. Ah, oh, but i get this glare or I'm fucked. Glare. Oh, please don't kill it. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah. Well, that strategy failed. I don't think I can do this now. No. Ugh. I need something with hypnosis. Uh, hold on. Might try it one more time. I think maybe open with Arbok and try and get the glare. Like, get the hard thing done first. if this one shots me. The crit, alright, great. That's the end of that plan. <laughs> I don't really have anything else, like grass isn't gonna work here. Hang on. One more time. Yeah, I, 
I got nothing. I just needed to use Peck. Just please use Peck. Peck. Thank you. It's not gonna hurt. Try again. Come on. I'm dead. I just need that situation to line up. Oh my god, I'm so tired of the crits. What's... Glare's chance. Hang on. Glare Gen 1. It has an accuracy of 75%, really? <laughs> Why is it failing so much? Okay, well... I don't think I'm gonna have this problem with Zapdos. so much RNG here. Don't use Ice Beam. Don't crit. It's not even... Like, it's not even super effective and it still wipes out Arbok. I might temporarily swap controls so then I don't have to do this, like, standby thing that I'm doing right now. It takes too long to go in and out of standby. Hey, wake up. Okay. Saved at the right point. Okay, good. Now, just please. Seventy five percent chance of succeeding, huh? Sure doesn't seem like it. team at it.
I just... Alakazam can eat a hit. Okay. It's about as low as I'm gonna be able to get it. What? How's it still missing? Do you really have to put it to sleep? I might have to give up on this. I guess I need a Pokemon that puts it to sleep. Still missing. And this is annoying. Alright, well, I may as well just keep trying. Like, maybe I can delay. That's fine. It's probably gonna hurt, but we'll, we'll be fine. Go Pidgeot. Okay, still alive. Okay. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doom people who are lost in icy mountains. <laughs> okay. Well. I just need to leave. That took a lot of effort. I think that's going to be the hardest one, just because it's an ice type and that eats most of my team. Also, I'm kind of under level, but that's fine. Pidgeot and agility is no joke. Or double team, I should say. Not agility. Okay, so what do I need to catch now? Uh, hold on. In the entrance in floor one, you can catch Golbat, 5%. Golduck is a 1%. Basement one. Hold 
Oh, that's straightforward. Okay. Yeah, that's not that's not tedious at all. That's just the entry, and then down the ladder, so I don't have to delve too deep into it, which is nice. Okay. So just hang out here, I'll get gold back. I guess I should, may as well use this as training. so it shouldn't take too long. Alright, 5% still. It's like Safari Zone odds. 10% in Zuzuba. effort later. Feels like I'm doing Safari Zone now. I've had good luck at least. There we go.
a bit more. Oh. Yeah, this'll work. Shit. Nice. thought that this this R block was gonna come in handy. MVP. Oh, once something something, hang on. Forgot to read it. Something about, like, not letting go of its victim. <sighs> once it strikes, it will not stop draining energy from the victim, even if it gets too heavy to fly. Okay, so then in here... Basement 1... Dugong is 4%, which, that's gonna be scary to fight. You know, I should probably recover while it's a low level. Okay. Good. Thank you for not attacking me. gold like I'm being lazy. It's a 1% of it. I don't think I'm going to look for it. At least not yet. I think it's Cerulean Cave. It has better odds. Holy 
least four percenters. really distinguish one floor from another here. Like, both floors have seal. Both floors have... shelter. Both floors have horsey. This floor only has sea draw. Oh no, but this floor has star you. Okay, no, this is the correct floor then. like this finished. Maybe I should be doing this. I should be doing this. This means every encounter takes longer, but, like, I need a train. Not too bad of experience. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to turn off XP share. I don't know. Oops. It's not gonna work, it's part psychic. feels like my safari lo zone luck at the start. Just nothing. Definitely gonna have to do the hypnosis thing because <sighs> bolt orb and electrode. Ugh.
Certainly feels a lot less than four percent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very disappointed if I get the one percent Cedra. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad addition to the team, to be honest. Like, it would overcome one of my biggest weaknesses, just is I have a lot of flying types. Thermal energy in his body swims at a steady eight knots even when in, in intensely cold waters. Okay, we can leave now. Golduck, I'll save for the Cerulean Cave. Alright, I guess I need to. Fly over here next. One, two, three. Twenty eight to go. Alright, well, I gotta leave it here for tonight, it's Sunday, and I need to get some rest before work tomorrow, so, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end, hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the channel, just remember to click buttons, particularly the ones that have that thumbs up icon thing. Uh, thank you to those that do do that, it does help out the channel a lot, and if you wanna catch me playing something else, hopefully two other videos have popped up by now, so... Hope you check them out, but till next time, bye YouTube.